This is what Jordan Woods reportedly told Jada Pinkett Smith in their interview. Jordan Woods is apparently going to spill deets to Jada Pinkett Smith in Red Table Talk on Friday re. Her hookup with Tristan Thompson, and she's reportedly contradicting some of what she said earlier. She reportedly thought the whole thing would blow over. Gather around, everybody. Hot tea over here. TMZ got the scoop on Jordan Woods' Red Table Talk appearance on Friday, and she will reportedly give details on her hookup with Tristan Thompson that contradict earlier strong facts. Jordan originally teased the appearance in an Instagram Live on Tuesday. And in it, Jordan will reportedly say she wasn't drunk when the whole thing went down, and she'll reaffirm the fact that she and Tristan just made out. She's taking full responsibility for it now? Whereas before she apparently said that she was only at Tristan's house to make sure other girls didn't stay over. The Kardashians will reportedly never work with Jordan Woods again. At this point, you know it, I know it, and everyone with internet access knows it. Jordan Woods and Tristan Thompson reportedly hooked up, causing some major drama between them, Khloe Kardashian and Kylie Jenner. Now, the Kardashians are apparently set to never work with Jordan professionally again. Today's installment of the Tristan Thompson slash Khloe Kardashian cheating saga, feet. Jordan Woods comes from a new TMZ report that claims the famous fam has excommunicated Jordan from all things business. Sources told the outlet that the family will not work with her ever again, which means much less for Jordan. She's worked with her maybe former bestie Kylie Jenner on lip kits and a whole makeup line before, and she once won for Close Good American campaign. But lol that was never going to happen again anyway. So, it's a no-go for business. K but as far as her personal relationships with the Kardashians go, it's still complicated. Jordan apparently keeps changing her story about the hookup, and Keely's at a loss for what to do. The rest of the family is reportedly super angry and seems ready to cast her out, but Kylie is hesitant. Khloe Kardashian is not happy with that Jordan Woods interview. Not even an hour after Jordan Woods went on Red Table Talk to tell her side of the Tristan Thompson alleged cheating story during which she denied that there was ever anything romantic between herself and Tristan Khloe Kardashian sent off a series of incense tweets. On Friday morning, the Facebook watch talk show Red Table Talk dropped its much-anticipated interview between Jada Pinkett Smith and Woods, who allegedly hooked up with Thompson at a party last month a scandal that has led to Woods' excommunication from the Kardashian empire and the apparent split of Kardashian and Thompson. But in the interview, Woods told Pinkett Smith that the truth of what happened had been greatly exaggerated, claiming that Tristan simply kissed her on the lips when she was leaving the party. She also insisted that she's not the reason the couple is no longer together a statement with which Kardashian took particular issue. Why are you lying Jordan Woods? She tweeted. If you're going to try and save yourself by going public, instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. By the way, you are the reason my family broke up. Half an hour later, Kardashian also responded to the criticism that she has placed all the blame on Woods. Tristan is equally to blame, she wrote, though she argues that she has been treating him differently because he's the father of her child. Regardless of what he does to me I won't do that to my daughter, she tweeted. He has been addressing this situation privately. If Tristan were to lie publicly about what conspired, then yes I would address him publicly as well. As of now, Chloe is the only Kardashian to respond, but if we know anything about this family, she certainly won't be the last. Seven of the biggest bombshells from Jordan Woods' Red Table Talk interview. Jordan Woods has opened up about the cheating scandal involving Khloe Kardashian's ex-boyfriend, Tristan Thompson. The 21-year-old model, who had been Kylie Jenner's best friend for years, appeared on the latest episode of Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett Smith, posted to Facebook on Friday.
In the episode, Jordan took responsibility for being at Tristan's house party, admitting that before she left the party in the morning, Tristan gave her a kiss on the lips. Jordan later admitted to Jada that she was honest with the Kardashian Jenners about being at the party, but she wasn't honest about the actions that had taken place. Let's take a look at all of the bombshell moments from the Red Table Talk interview below. Jordan says she didn't give Tristan a lap dance in the beginning of the sit-down interview. Jordan immediately put one rumor to rest. Never once was I giving him a lap dance, making out with him, sitting all over him, she told Jada. Never once did we leave the public area, go to a bedroom, go to a bathroom. We're all in plain sight. Jordan says Tristan gave her a kiss on the lips before leaving the party. Jordan said Tristan gave her a kiss on the lips. On the way out, he did kiss me. No passion. It was like a kiss on the lips, she shared. I don't think he's wrong, either, because I allowed myself to be in that position. And when alcohol is involved, people make dumb moves or people get caught up in the moment. I was like, that didn't happen, Jordan told Jada. I was leaving already so I walked out immediately after. After getting in her car, Jordan told herself, let me just pretend that didn't happen. When asked why Tristan would do that, Jordan replied, I'm there until the sun's coming up, so he's like, maybe let me just shoot my shot. Jordan admits she wasn't honest with the Kardashians after leaving the house party. Jordan went home and had talked to Kylie and Chloe. I told them I was there, Jordan told Jada. I had talked to Chloe and she asked me what was going on, is everything fine? And in my head of trying to forget that part of the story, I was just like, you know, no, he was chilling, everything was okay. Like, there were girls there, but he wasn't all over the girls. I was honest about being there, but I wasn't honest about the actions that had taken place, Jordan admitted. Jordan was trying to protect Chloe's heart. When asked if she was trying to protect Tristan and Chloe's relationship, Jordan said, I just knew how much turmoil was going on, that I was like, let me not just throw more fuel on the fire. I know I was trying to protect Chloe's heart, Jordan told Jada. She doesn't deserve this, either. The last thing I wanted to do was be that person, Jordan said, as she wiped away tears. I'm no homewrecker. I would never try to hurt someone's home, especially someone that I love and someone who has a beautiful daughter. I never would try to steal someone's man. I don't need your situation. I really just hurt so many more people by not telling the truth. Jordan says she knows she's not the reason Chloe and Tristan aren't together. I know I'm not the reason that Tristan and Chloe are not together, Jordan said. The situation may have made it harder for her to want to be with him, and I understand that. But I know I'm not the reason. Jordan says she never slept with Tristan when Jada asked Jordan if she slept with Tristan. Jordan replied, never. Never a thought, never a consideration, Jordan told Jada. Never happened, never will I. Jordan also said she's willing to take a lie detector test. Jordan says there's been no communication with Tristan just to clarify. There's been no communication with Tristan. No relationship over time, Jordan said. Chloe Kardashian accuses Jordan Woods of lying about Tristan Thompson cheating scandal. Chloe Kardashian is not buying what Jordan Woods is selling. Last week, it was revealed that the Keeping Up With The Kardashian star broke up with Tristan Thompson, father of their 10-month-old daughter True Thompson. Over allegations that he cheated on her again, this time with her sister Kylie Jenner's bestie. Tristan denied the accusations and Joe told her side of the story on family friend Jada Pinkett Smith's Facebook Watch series Red Table Talk on Friday. Jordan said she did not sleep with Tristan, but admitted that he kissed her on the lips at a party at his house. She also denied reports that she gave him a lap dance and admitted she was drunk during the entire encounter with him. Jordan said she apologized to Chloe. After the encounter, saying, I did as much apologizing as I could do, over the phone, over texts. And until I get the opportunity to talk face to face cause she can really feel, you know, what I'm saying. But I, I reached out in the opportunities there. I offered as much as I could. A lie detector test, anything. Whatever makes you feel better is what I want. I know I'm not the reason. That Tristan and Chloe are not together, she said. 
Now this situation may have made it harder for her to want to be with him, and I understand that. But I know I'm not the reason. Why are you lying, Jordan Woods? Chloe tweeted after the interview was posted online. If you're going to try and save yourself by going public, instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. By the way, you are the reason my family broke up. During the interview, Jordan also said she does not think Tristan was wrong, because I allowed myself to be in that position, and when alcohol is involved, people make dumb moves or people get caught up in the moment. Tristan is equally to blame, but Tristan is the father of my child, Chloe tweeted. Regardless of what he does to me, I won't do that to my daughter. He has been addressing the situation privately. If Tristan were to lie publicly about what conspired, then yes, I would address him publicly as well. The Kardashian Jenner family has cut Jordan off since the allegations were reported. She continues to hope for forgiveness. I'm not asking for people to like me, Jordan said on Red Table Talk. I'm not asking for you to forgive me overnight. I'm just asking for you to hear me and to feel me.